my grandmother you see actually i should narrate this family tree then you will understand my mother's father and my father's mother are brother and sisters brother and sister my mother's father father's mother it's like a internally inside family they marry every person you meet they will be related to me in five ways they will tell the five kind of a relationship or the channel through which they are related to me and each of them see it is not that too much of spiritual practice or all that can be described but the powerful cognitions they carried my grandmother actually she had heart attack in the morning maybe around 6 o'clock she got up and said inform swami ji i am going to die today you should liberate me and then she started getting ready to go to the temple on her own my grandmother's daughter means my atte my uh, father's sister she said what do you mean you are saying you are going to die and you are getting ready to go to the temple she said yes yes how can i die without going to temple and have arunachalishwara's darshan you inform swami ji she went to temple came back had her darshan and came back she did our all, all her morning she used to have her own small puja she did everything and then she had her own cooking she had the style of the it's called swayambhavam you see once your husband dies you take a vow of vana prastha and in hindu tradition and you cook on your own and eat you don't eat the food cooked by others it's called swayambhava she has taken that vow she has taken that vrata initiation and she lived as a vana prasti a very perfect vana prasti and she had her own cooking and ate and then she used to enjoy that uh, kumbakonam degree coffee and she made her coffee and drank and then by noon 2 o'clock she informed she asked the daughter have you informed swami ji she said yes we informed and she just lied down and left the body nothing else no hospital nothing no falling sick nothing she left the body the way you leave the body decides the way you lived the way you live leave the body that is the scale to decide how you lived still i remember every person in that local village they will call her ma if you come and touch everything will go auspicious please come and inaugurate the local shops even when they go for the new house griha pravesham they will call her you come and walk into the house first they will bring the cow and calf she has to hold the rope and walk usually the widows are not considered auspicious in hindu tradition but my grandmother was never considered as a widow she was only considered as one of the yoginis and she will walk into the house first holding the rope of the cow and calf everywhere i have seen the way she was respected every house shop everywhere just because of her her powerful cognition and the feeling connection she had with arunachaleshwara arunachaleshwara was the center of life for the whole village even now see if you hear the narrative of the village how in american dal you call it theme of your county narrative of your county each american county or the city will have its own narrative or the theme theme of your county narrative of your county they have special words for all this if you see in tiruvannamalai the theme of the whole village theme of the whole 
village and narrative of the whole village, everything is Arunachaleshwara. It is Arunachaleshwara, everything. The hill is Annamalai, the deity is Annamalai, and the village name is Annamalai, Thiruvannamalai. That's all. Thiru is just the title, like a Shri in Sanskrit. Mr. in English. If you see, hill name, Mr. Annamalai, Thiruvannamalai. Deity name, Mr. Annamalayar, Thiruvannamalayar. And the village name, the place name, Thiruvannamalai. That's all. All three same name. Because the theme of the whole village, the narrative of the whole village, if you go to every home, you will have one person named Annamalai. My father's father name is Annamalai. My father's name is Arunachalam, which is the Sanskrit of Annamalai. That's all. Go to every house, you will have one Annamalai. There will not be any ration card without one Annamalai in Thiruvannamalai. Pick up any ration card of any home, there will be one Annamalai. <laughs> or one Arunachalam. Or one Abhidagujambal. Either one Annamalai, or one Arunachalam, or one Abhidagujambal, or one Unnamalai. This See, Annamalai Sanskrit name is Arunachalam. Unnamalai, that mother's name. Her Sanskrit name is Abhidagujambal. This four, one name will be there in every ration card of Thiruvannamalai. Because the narrative of that whole village is Arunachala. There will not be single ration card. I can tell with all my confidence. <laughs> There will not be a single ration card in that whole village without these four names. Annamalai, Arunachalam, Abhidagujambal, Unnamalai. 